What up, Skelly gang? We here. Sprouts. Normal Sunday shit. Got Kelly here. <laughs> She's just gonna sit there, pursed lips, just... <laughs> I just, we just, uh... He's a better communicator than me. You better find the camera. But you got all this shit to be... I'm the editor. Okay. Behind the scenes. Nah, she has all this shit to say, and then as soon as yeah. I turn record, she <laughs> just watches me talk. I got a little armpit stain, you know, because we working, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, we just hit legs today, second squad day of the week. Dead. A little bit of accessories. Um, yeah. yeah, we're fucking dead. Deadlifts was terrible. It was it was the hardest session I've probably ever done because they're I don't I'm not a rep lifter. I don't lift with a belt anymore. No. And it's I don't first know. time deadlifting since uh, like seriously a few weeks. in a month. Yeah, so we we were both feeling it. Um <laughs> Like our squats and bench for me, bench felt great this week. We didn't record it because you go to LA Fitness and it's a madhouse in there. Yeah, people, people don't have yeah. respect anymore they knock anywhere. Down our stuff. So like they'll just act like they don't see your camera, knock kick it. it over. Yeah, and they act like you're you think they're you're better than them just because you're yeah. recording your progress at the gym. So we we just sway away from doing that because we don't really want to make people mad intentionally. Opposed, we do make people mad unintentionally, but that's just our life. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> this first week, he wrote. Um, so it was 28 reps every warm up. So seven reps each set had to be. Doesn't matter the fucking fucking weight you do, as long as you're getting warmed up. She thought it was so crazy. And then you get one working set of six, and then you get three working sets of five. That's on bench, deadlift, and squat all week. Um, I thought it was fine. <laughs> First day I get in there, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I must he wrote, have been, like, he wrote, who wrote this? I'm I like, must have been did. twacked writing this shit, but we did it. We only yeah. cut down deadlifts by one rep for her and two reps for me because yeah. deadlifts is where it I was hard. feel like, the most pain. I don't know how to really do reps on deadlifts anymore. I used to bounce the weight up. It was horrible, but that's how I used to rep it. So now it was, it was hard yesterday, but... I managed to get through most of it. And um, hit three by one, 345. Actually, two by one at 345. And a one rep at 350, and it fucking flew. So. She was crazy. Some master women better watch out. Cause I'm oh, coming. yeah. We fucking. And <laughs> it's funny because I have junior uh, women who watch me and they think that, like, I'm in their division. I'm like, no. So they try to, like, lift more than her <laughs> yeah. when they see her training. It's like, dude. Worry about your own division, yeah. Kyle. What the fuck? I'm almost a master. I got I got another year and a half in sub. So hey, I'm the top do. top three in the top four in the nation type. Her, I'm the one coaching her. Yeah, he'll, he's a top coach. People Hell don't take yeah, him seriously. People don't take either. me seriously. They be thinking yeah. they could just jump into coaching. Like, dude, if you cannot pull over 550 or 500 pounds, conventional and sumo. Then, well, you can't be a deadlift coach. Yeah. You can't be a powerlift coach. You never powerlifted. Yeah. How does that even work? That's just like with all the NFL coaches. Some of them never played a down in their life, and they fucking coaching football? That shit don't work. Hell no. Nah. Especially with lifting. Anyway. Or people take advantage. Like, oh, I pulled a heavy number. I'm going to start coaching people. It's like, do and you know how to... And then they take advantage of people that yeah. want to get into lifting around them. So they're going to teach them what they know and what they, have you know... And get money off of it, opposed to just actually giving them real shit to work with. I don't know. It's kind yeah. of ridiculous. We don't care. It's not a rant. We're just yeah. getting shit Stuff off our see. chest. Yeah. It's this is literally we see this shit weekly, online and in person. Yeah. And so we're just like whatever. But we don't have anything else. To say. At least I don't. No. What about you? Well, this is this week. It was a it was a hard week of lifts. We got it through. Um, Scott one day worked 11 hours, got home like at 6.30, 7, so went to the gym to hit his bench. His, everything on him was cramping because he had to use his full body for work. Jack hammering. And Jack hammering. And then we looked and it's like, he, he really does, he like walks like 8 to 10 miles a day. Average 10 Average. miles a day. Average. And I'm like, it's hard to, after working all day, to come and your body feel great for a session. He does whatever he can, whatever his body will let him do, he'll do. And it's like, it's for him, it's hard. Like last year, like. What? <laughs> See, she... I lost my train of thought. 
Anyway, y'all, we've worked hard <laughs> to get to where we're at, yeah. and nothing's gonna change that. If we're tired, we're gonna still go to gym and hit the same. We're gonna still push for the same fucking intensity. It doesn't matter how we fucking feel. Mm -hmm. Our training has to be consistent, like this, even going up, but never going down. Okay, this is how our training should be all the time: consistent growth. But. We're done talking. I'm fucking hungry. I don't know what I'm eating for lunch. Probably another sandwich. Fuck it. <laughs> fish. Fuck. <laughs> got uh, some rockfish. Got some rockfish from the ocean. Got ocean fish in Arizona. That shit. I don't know how it's gonna taste. But Skelly Gang, we we, we out. <laughs> we out. <laughs> <laughs> Be patient, be patient. Good job. Come on, come on. What up, Skelly Gang? We here, Boss of Fitness. You know what it is, Deadlift Day. I've been babysitting the fuck out of my lower back. It's really my lower back slash right hip. It's my dominant side. It's what one anyone would compensate with. It's just the natural thing to do. It's been hurting since high school, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'm barely addressing it when it comes to PT. And of course, when you work get something worked on, it's just gonna open it up to hurt even more. Sorry, I'm talking through Kelly's set right here. I'm just casually, she casually throwing around 315 and shit. I got 455 for four. Um, we were supposed to go to Preacher, but we did not know they was having a damn meet, bro. We pulled up, there's like 60 cars, people pouring out the door. We're like, wait, did they have a meet today? So we were an hour behind schedule trying to trying to get to this gym right here and I had the bar in my in my car and everything. I think I actually went and picked up the bar from home and then met her at the damn gym. Damn. Yeah, she drove her car, I drove mine. So yeah, I wasn't ready. Was not ready. Since I essentially try to use my legs as the start of my lift opposed to pulling back on my back. Um, my knees have just been very weak due to work. It's not an excuse. It's just uh, wearing boots all day and then trying to come in and flex your knees out. It's just different. These are better. I've been reworking my deadlift a little bit more. Letting bench alone, letting my squat form alone. I've only been hitting high bar. Uh, it's Kelly 330. I've been writing her numbers just to pretty much kind of test her conditioning slash strength. We like conditioning when it comes to repetitions, which I don't think we fucking need. I just think we're triples, kind of single kind of lifters. My second rep is always the best on any of my lifts. First rep's ass, third rep is just, why do I even fuck the first rep up? You know what I'm saying? I apologize for the little stuffy uh, voice. Kelly and I have been fighting the cold this week. It's shit gay as hell. Sorry for my use of the fucking word, but it's just how I came up, you know. Billy, I love you. Anyway, dog, we gonna get to it. I think we have squats in this video as well. Let's see this back down. So people call me a soft lockout. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not a soft lockout. If anything, y'all is an over-exaggerated lockout. I don't need to bend back past my fucking level point just to prove that I lifted the weight up. That is a deadlift. And I'm not getting mad, you feel me? I'm just letting people know, like, I don't, I don't say shit about no one else's form, even if it's fucking ass, bro. 
that's up to you to figure out and fix. You know what I'm saying? Like, people be talking shit about me, and I'm just like, I'm literally just in my lane, chilling. I could talk shit about myself enough. I don't need nobody. Oh, oh shit. 345. Yoink. Shit's easy, bro. I even let her go up. Watch. Because we just we fucking... We, I mean, she's just built like that. You feel me? My wife fucking different, dog. Watch this shit. Yoink. God damn. Made sure her grip was locked in. And she just pulled that shit up. God, she's doing her fucking... She's doing her third lift over here in calm. Just casually in training. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yoink. Her squat, I'm fucking so proud of her squat form. She finally listened to me and used her legs, opposed to widening out and just putting all that weight in her hips. It's like, nah, you gotta use your legs under you. You got a little matching knee wraps. Hers are a fucking bitch to put on. They are. But I get them on her for. Yeah, I'm over here. I partook, I ain't gonna lie to you, so I just got a new piece of glass. This shit's crazy, dog. It really do be working like that. Look at this. Just straight up and down. You know, nothing fancy, just use your legs. So I just keep your brace for anybody, really. You don't have to be too narrow, you don't have to be too wide. Just try to do that, what I'm doing right here, in any stance without the bar. And tell me where your threshold is, to where you, you don't feel like you have to move your back forward or uh, back, you know, to get even. Pair of flight, perpendicular wise. Like right here, I have her go at like a 40, usually it's a 45 degree tilt at the start. And then you go down. But she's kind of worked the way around, you know, setting up in that, staying in that tilt. I think I, see, I, I stay in the tilt the whole time. I never, I never move my back forward or backwards. I'm in it all the time. Legs are straight, look at it. Back is too, believe it or not. It's called power position team. Again, okay, so she went a little narrower here, narrower here. <laughs> yeah, that shit is strong, man. Hey, man, we strong too. Well, we've been, we've been really happy with our uh, squats lately. I've been doing high bar, as I mentioned before. Um, it's what I started with. I mean, if anything, low bar is harder. High bar I can hit pretty much whatever way I desire on it. Man, she just busted those out like that. Back set 275 by eight. It's a little baby weight, dude. That's just my, I, I swear I don't use momentum from hitting depth. My depth is literally, people think it's like a hip dip, but tell me if you see my ass twitch at all. Tell me right here, tell me. Tell me if you fucking see that shit dip down and get momentum from the hip hinge. Anyway, y'all, we love you. We appreciate y'all. Skelly Gang, we out. Yeah.